So what makes it different? Let's, let's get into the meat of what's, what makes the musicians love that. We've established it. In a lot of typical systems, uh, you have to share. Everyone has to share the same setup. So let's just take an example of eight different sources. Um, you've got to then have the drummer happy, being able to hear enough of the kit in the right way. Uh, you've got singers, you've got guitarists, you've got keyboardists, whatever you may have. Everyone has to share the same thing. So who gets the best deal? Probably the drummer. They have four channels of eight. Um, the lead guitar, the vocals end up on one, and how can you still hear yourself? Uh, so there's a lot of challenges because you're basically all sharing a party line. You're, you're all sharing the same sources across eight or maybe 16. That's, that's tricky. So when we went out and looked for what should we do with a personal mixing system, some of the natural reaction was, oh, we need more channels. We need more than 16. We need 32. We need, you know, we need a ton. If I'm a conductor in orchestra, I need to have a whole bunch of channels to be able to get through, uh, to be able to hear everything. So just give me this big. So pretty soon you got a big 48-channel mixer in front of you if you're not careful. So no, 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 that couldn't be the solution. So we went and tried a different approach. What happens if we... You could have what you wanted grouped in the way you wanted to group them. And most people came back with anywhere from 5 to 12 different groups of things in a typical band. So the drummer wanted, you know, eight, drum, eight, eight mics but doesn't need all the vocalists split out all over the place. Whereas the vocalists, you got eight vocalists or five vocalists, you want to be able to... Um, be able to uh, blend so you want yourself to stand out from these other four or five people singing with you but that's not important necessarily to the bass player so what we we're able to do is set up something where every person can have their own layout in the way they want it so a lead vocalist for example may have this to put themselves on number one uh, and because they're singing with three other people, split those singers out separately on two, three, and four. Let's put the choir into five and bass and put the electric guitars together and so on and so forth across, you can see, uh, 16 groups. At the same time, in the same system, I can have the, the drummer have all eight groups be the kit only. And you see I've grouped the vocals onto 14 along with the choir is all in there, and, but now I have click track as a drummer, I need click, so I've got that, but no one else really needs click, uh, in, unless they're starting the song that week, uh, without the drums, for example, or acoustic guitar starting. So only the people that really need click need, need to bother having it. So that's one, but then uh, we looked at this earlier too, that if I'm someone who doesn't play very much, I'm not a tweaker, I'm happy with a coarse mix, then hey, I can get it down to four knobs where someone else needed 16. So every single person can enjoy their own truly personal mix. So how, do, how does that happen? So, you know, remember React is a 40 channel protocol, 40 channels or 40 sources in one direction. So every M48 sees up to 40 channels. That comes from the React B output patch bay. And Christian is going to show you that in a moment. React B output put patch bay, sends that off to the M48s in this network. And I uh, just put up an example of what 40 sources may be like. You may not have 40, maybe you only have 16, maybe you only have 22, 21 sources, whatever it may be. I loaded it up with 40. So there you have 40 uh, sources, uh, starting with some kit, some guitars and keys and pianos and a pretty decent size little setup there. So as the lead vocalist, I'll want to map my lead vocal on source number 25 to knob number one, because that's me, and I want to control that on one. Why would I put myself on 12? I'll put myself on one. And then I'm going to use drums. I'm happy with drums all grouped together. So they're on knob number two. I want bass separated out. I want to put all the guitars together, keys, vocals, and just some house blend. That's all I care about. That's what I want. So that's uh, how I will assign sources to my mixer. And you're going to see how to do that in a moment. At the same time, if I'm a drummer, then I'm going to want to separate my whole sources out between my kit and, and then run the rest of the 
as sources, as you can see there, this logical, this kind of graphical way to show you what's really going on in each M48. And what's great about it is, is this doesn't use up any aux buses or matrix buses. All your busing is still completely free. The M48 system is, is completely uh, part of the REAC extension. So you're not using up extra resources in your console. You've got the power right here in your M48 that takes care of looking at those 40 sources and groups them the way that you want them to. So it's, you just opened up tons of processing in your console that you might not even need anymore with all those buses. Um, you can use them for a lot of other purposes. How it gets to all of the units is through this switch, the Ethernet switch. Um, there's 10 ports on there. You can see 3 through 10 have a different color, and that's because power is provided on those ports. So you need one of these for every 8 M48s. We've got um, great places using it. Uh, Lakewood uh, has a bunch. Prestonwood uses it with their orchestra. I think has 30, 30 odd units. And you just get as many of those you need to power as many M48s as you have. Uh, connect it to your console and, and simply run it out uh, to your M48. So what we've done for you, uh, at least at this point, uh, when we get there, is you can see on your table there, you've got a little thing called a trend net um, behind that's plugged into your M48. This is useful when you just have one unit you need to power. Maybe you want nine units, not eight. Uh, you don't necessarily need a whole new switch for one more. Then this is a power injector. You take one Cat5, stick it into one end, out and plug it into the wall uh, through the AC power cord, and out comes uh, the data, as it was, with power now on two of the pins. So you're ready to, to provide it. So there's a number of ways to power it. This is the most uh, efficient way, but there are other ways to, to, to do it if you, if you need to. So enable, uh, enabling it with the vMixer console is very simple. Uh, you've got a typical setup there with 1608 or a 328 snakehead and just in line put the switch and plug in as many M48s as you need. You need more, just daisy chain it and, and connect more. Later you can see uh, behind me is uh, three of the switches. So we came here into this environment and there's eight M48 units already underneath the stage here. There's a 3208 with, a, with this uh, S4000D, this switch there. So all we did is jack down of that, one cable, over to a rack with three uh, S4000Ds. The switch is right here uh, below me. And uh, you can come and look at it later in our hands-on session. But now there are uh, connectors to all of the consoles and all of the M48s that are behind me that we can use later to sample when the band is playing. So we can, we can hear what the band is playing. But it's that simple. It's just a switch to a bunch of other devices. Uh, and that's as simple as the wiring gets with uh, the React system. What's great too is the mounting mechanism. This unit comes ready-made with the actual metal stand. And uh, it's not an option. It comes in the box already. And this is ready to mount on a microphone stand. You can actually remove these two screws underneath here and remove this uh, shelf. And that's helpful if you're going to mount it onto a music stand like you see here. You can use the uh, clamp uh, that comes actually out of the Roland Percussion Division. That unit is a universal mount that's able to grab the stand um, partway up, either a mic stand or a music stand, and you're able to mount it directly to the box like you can see in front of you here. Um, so it makes it very clean, uh, one wire coming to the unit and um, power, everything included. 